Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Roundhouse Rob, the success sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. And today I'm talking about get rich slow and don't bite into the false dream. So get rich slow. Not the most romantic title I've come up with so far for my podcast, but get rich slow and don't bite into the false dream. Right, where shall we start? Hope you're all doing really good. And thanks for listening. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Please review. Please like. I'm still building this. This is still grassroots. It's still organic. Um, I need all the help and support. I've gotten loads so far. I've gotten a lot of feedback. But obviously, the more I get, the more it can grow and the more I can keep recording these and, and, and keep making them. So please continue all the great support I've gotten so far, um, especially the iTunes stuff. So please uh, give me a like or give me a review and uh, keep me posted. So get rich slow and don't buy into the false stream. So get rich slow, as I said, it's not the most marketable uh, sales strategy, um, but it's really, really important because there's that many get rich quick schemes floating around and they're exactly that, they are schemes. Get rich quick, a lot of people spend so much time and energy throughout their life trying to get rich quick that they miss all the get rich slow opportunities or they sacrifice their whole financial future because they've been constantly uh, thinking that they're going to get rich and basically gambling their life away thinking that they're going to get rich so that's not what you're going to do you're going to continue to get rich slow while you're also hoping to get rich quick so i'm not saying don't get rich quick that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying don't try to if you have a plan, you think you can make it work and you think you can make money fast, absolutely do that. If you can get rich quick, do, but get rich slow while you're getting rich quick and don't buy into the false dream. The false dream we'll talk about in in a couple of minutes, but let's let's talk about getting rich quickly. What does exactly that, what does that mean? Well, you can do it illegally. You can try to get rich illegally. And the funny thing is about a lot of people that try to get rich illegally, they are very, very smart. They spend a lot of time and a lot of energy into an illegal activity and if they just spent the same amount of time and energy into a legitimate pursuit they would probably still have had a lot of success and they wouldn't have had to look over their shoulder and they wouldn't have had to you know if you anyone watches all the, all the biographies about people who uh, made a lot of money in the criminal world and then you live by the sword you die by the sword it doesn't end really well or they bring a lot of um, hardship on their family so if you do it the legitimate way it's the same amount of energy there's still it's you could still possible to make money the legitimate way it is still possible to get rich quick but the problem is only 0.00001% of the whole entire population of the globe will get rich quick did you like that statistic? Well, I just totally made it up. So <laughs> did you believe me? So I don't know. I don't know what the statistic is for getting rich quick, but it's very, very small uh, in comparison to the amount of people that think that they're going to get rich quick. Like uh, if you haven't seen Only Fools and Horses, I don't know what country you're, you're residing in and watching this. So maybe Only, Only Fools and Horses isn't uh, as popular where, where you live, but you should definitely Google Only Fools and Horses. Del Boy, absolute classic. This time next year, Rodders will be millionaires and he's always spending so much time and effort and energy on the latest scam. And if he just put that time and effort and energy into the gym, the path, he would more than likely have done well. Unless you're very, very lucky, unless you're going to discover oil or you're going to come up with the next big social media platform or the next big app or some massive invention that all of us need in our lives, it's very unlikely that you're going to make a massive amount of money in a very, very short period of time. So the problem is we're looking at all these other people. We're looking at people who have created, obviously, Amazon and Facebook and any of the big ones. And we're there thinking, God, they've made it very, very fast. They've made a lot of money. And we think that this is a possibility for us. Sure, it can be. And hopefully someone sends me a message and says, Robert, you're wrong. 
I've become very, very rich very, very quickly. I'd love to hear that. I absolutely wouldn't begrudge it of you. But what I'm saying is it's extremely reckless with a very, very small percentage chance that you have of making that type of money very rich. There's that many people on the planet, I don't know, 11 billion people on the planet, and that's one person. That's one person's story that you're thinking that you might be able to emulate. And it's a very, very dangerous thought process because you could sacrifice your whole life trying to get rich quick and regret it in, in future years. So getting rich slow, even though it's not as catchy a title, it's what we should all be doing while we're hoping to get rich quick. So plan for the worst, hope for the best. Generational wealth. A lot of people who, who, who are rich or who get rich, it's generational wealth, like really rich now. I'm not talking about financially comfortable. I'm talking about very, very rich. It happens over generations. It definitely can take a lot of people who are successful and have a lot of money, it can take them a, one, a whole entire lifetime at least. A lot of people who invented things and came up with uh, amazing ideas weren't the ones that actually became rich. It was, it, was their, it was the next generation. So it can take a long, long period of time to make and amass a lot of money. So that's why get the, get the whole get rich quick out of your mind. If it happens, that's super, but be putting other blocks in place to get rich slow at the same time as waiting to get rich quick. A lot of people, if they were asked the question, you can have 10 euro or dollars or uh, gold to the value of whatever, 10, or you can have 20 in the future, which would you rather have? A lot of people would want the 10 now, but the problem is your future self would seriously regret that decision. But that's kind of the way a lot of us can be wired. We'd rather the money now and spend the money now and enjoy the life now rather than putting it off into the future. And the problem with that is in the future, you may not be able to command as much money. So it could be a hell of a lot harder for you to accumulate money. You think that we'll have the earning ability up to late in life, 70s, 80s, 90s, but you don't know what's going to happen with your health. So it means that right now you should be putting away money. So the get rich slow scheme, if it's such, if it was a scheme, is to start really early. Uh, make sure that you're clearing off all your debts, uh, whatever debts you have, clear those. You'll never get ahead of yourself if you're paying off high interest. So get on top of your debts as quickly as possible. Uh, the next thing is have an emergency savings fund. So a lot of people don't have an emergency savings fund, or they panic as soon as something happens, like car breaks down, or you know, there's a christening or a confirmation or a birthday or something that a Christmas or a holiday or something they have to pay for. It's emergency procedure. So they don't have an emergency fund in place getting ready for all these emergencies. And a lot of them aren't emergencies. You can plan for them. So savings is a big thing. Start your savings. The, the Richest Man in Babylon. Read that book. It's a good book. It's about saving as well. And it's, a, and it's an interesting book if you're interested in this subject. So make sure that you're saving. Even if you earn 100 euro a week or 100 dollars, it doesn't matter what it is, or 100 pounds sterling, um, make sure you're saving. Save 10 pounds, 20 pounds. Make sure you're saving 10% at least. That's, that's the general, it really should be more than that. But no matter what you're earning, you should always put money aside and forget about it because you're, you're setting yourself up for a fail in the future if you have absolutely nothing there. Because in life, things are going to happen misfortunes are going to happen, unlucky situations are going to happen, and you're going to need money. And guess what? You haven't put any aside. So life is going to carry on. Time is going to pass, whether you choose to do something or you choose not to do something. But I guarantee you that if you choose to do something, when the time passes, you'll be absolutely delighted that you did, even if it was only a small amount. Make sure no matter how crap your earnings are, you're putting some money away. You need an emergency fund. After an emergency fund, that figure can be totally up to you as to whatever you need it to be. You should start a savings fund. Again, it could be 10%. I mean, everybody's situation is different. It is very, very hard to save in this economic environment. A lot of people are hurting for money. A lot of people, are, there's a lot of instability in a lot of households. All the more reason you don't know what's going to happen in the future. You keep thinking, spending today, thinking the future is going to be brighter and it's not necessarily going to be so. So you need to put money aside. The next thing is you need your savings. So besides your emergency fund, you need your savings fund. With your savings fund, when that accumulates, if you manage to get a few quid into it, then that's the money that you use for investing because it's not money that you're using day to day. When I say investing, investing can be all kinds of, like everyone thinks investing has to be buying a house or buying an apartment block or 
buying a hotel. It doesn't, it can be small investments. Small investments will make money. I am so sorry I didn't do a pension early and that's one of the things I would say to absolutely everybody. Start a pension the second you start employment. Start a pension. If you didn't do it, when is the next best time? The next best time is now. Start a pension. It can be very, very small amount of money, but it comes out of your account and directly by direct debit. So it doesn't hurt. It's not money that you're handing over out of your wages. It's directly comes out of your wages and you won't miss it as much as you'll forget that you have it. And when in times, good times, you can increase it. In bad times, you can decrease it. Absolutely talk to a financial advisor. Now, a lot of people think that they're not worthy of talking to a financial advisor. Are they think that they're too small or only a small fish I don't earn much money I don't have much money what's the point there are tons of policies there's policies for high high net worth individuals there's policies and pensions for people who are on very little money there's security there for everybody from very very small money so make sure you have a chat do some research look if you're not comfortable talking to a financial advisor just look online i'm not promoting any financial advisor i have a super financial advisor if anybody wants to know the details just message me and i will absolutely send on his details but that's not the purpose of this at all you need a good financial advisor so make sure you get good advice regarding what's out there you don't know what's out there um, and that, that could benefit you greatly and and help you with your not just savings but actually investment savings that you can still draw down if you needed it, etc., etc. There's so many products that you don't even realize until you start to do the, the research as to exactly what is out there. Homework for the Success Sensei disciples and students is you need to read, I already said, The Richest Man in Babylon. You must read. If you haven't already and you have any interest in having any kind of financial security in the future, you need to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad it's the bible for a lot of people interested in being financially secure it's a totally different financial education to one that you would have learned in school rich dad poor dad absolutely must read book the next book i would recommend so that's two so far the next book i'd recommend is the millionaire next door the millionaire next door absolutely super book one that says how the average how the average person living next door to you could be a millionaire and you don't even realize it because it's not this brash lavish lifestyle that you think it's not about earning huge amounts of money it's about not wasting money it's about the things that we talked about briefly there um spending money only on assets not on liabilities even if it's small assets accrue small assets will build up over the time that time is going to pass regardless of whether you don't build assets or you just purchase liabilities or you do sweet fa and you do nothing at all that time is going to pass so you may as well do something and you'll be happy that you did even if it's only small money right so buying into the false dream what does that even mean what are you going on about robert buying into the false dream the false dream is anybody out there who is a sports person and want to really make it big or they are an actor and they want to make it really big or a performer or an entertainer or a singer or a dancer or in, in more closer to my neck of the woods and a fighter, an MMA fighter, a competitive fighter and you're really hoping to make it big and you really plan on making it big. Putting all your eggs in one basket is extremely risky. So back to the statistics of how many people, football players, how many people are actually going to make a career from that sport. The percentage is very, very small, on a par with winning the lotto. So you're going to risk your whole life in any of these endeavors hoping that you're going to make it and you're going to be successful without putting any other get rich slow plans in place and it's an extremely risky strategy. I absolutely understand not wanting to have a plan B and that is cool. I totally understand because sometimes if you have a plan B, when you know there's a plan B there, you're not as committed to plan A. I absolutely understand that. I've been in that boat myself in a couple of different endeavors and a couple of different uh, paths in life. But what I'm saying is, while you're doing plan A without a plan B, put small things in place to make sure you're not risking it all. So, struggling fighters. If you're not working, I know there's a, there's a blueprint of 
let's not work at all let's claim welfare and train as hard as we can until the day we make it and then everything the problem with that is if you don't make it the problem with all of these plans is if you don't make it or if you don't make it as big as you think you're going to make it what do you have and if the answer is nothing it's an extremely risky strategy so the that is the false dream all these many football players thinking that they're going to be the next I don't know I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have gone with the football one because I don't really know Diego Maradona that's going back so oh Robert that's so embarrassing that's going back so far um MMA thinking they're going to be the next Conor McGregor thinking they're going to be the next John Jones thinking they're going to be earning so much money and and there's thousands if not tens of thousands in these sports if not hundreds of thousands of actors that didn't make it singers dancers who are extremely skilled and could have and it just didn't happen you don't want to be one of these washed up people don't it doesn't i know i've talked a lot about sports because it's, it's what i understand mma and martial arts and fighting um but you don't if it if it's you in business if it's you and everything don't put your eggs in one basket don't be completely reliant on if this fails i'm going to be completely destitute and i understand you're going to hear lots of stories of success to motivate you into taking these big risks and i as i said earlier i hope people message me and say robert you're totally wrong i didn't follow that strategy and i made it that's great, but what I'm talking about is the thousands and tens of thousands and the hundreds of thousands of people who won't make it as a result of buying into this false dream. Hopefully it isn't a false dream for you and it all just works out. But as I've discovered in life, things do not work out. They never work out exactly as you think they're going to or hope you're going to. There's many bumps and pitfalls along the way. So it's up to you to try to make sure that while you're following through plan A, you're putting as many different things in place to make sure that you're not just washed up and broken up and left with absolutely no money, having sacrificed your whole life, all the relationships in your life, so everybody around you um, and everything around you and, and you turn around at an age where you're old and you can't do very much going, what the hell am I going to do now? That's the position I would hate to see anybody in. I think it's a really, really tough uh, position, especially if you have done everything and you have earned and deserved the right to make it big and it just didn't happen to you. That happens to so many people. I saw it myself firsthand in the fight game. And I'm not speaking about myself, by the way, because it was never my theory, it was never my belief to put myself into that position. Um, even though I went down the competitive route probably a hell of a lot further than I intended, it was never a source of income for me. I already had my uh, business and I already had an income even when I was training and competing. So it was a completely different scenario. Uh, I was able to invest and I was able to do all these other things while I was still doing my fighting. So I wasn't ever reliant on the fighting and I wasn't prepared to put myself in a position in order to be able to, to, in order to be completely reliant on it. I saw that many struggling fighters and couch surfing fighters who had a, a, a fairly meager existence and I knew that if it didn't work out and it probably wouldn't work out because they were fighting with time and fighting with their bodies and fighting with their love of the sport and everything that if it didn't work out you know I I don't really know what they were going to do they were, they were going to have to come up with a plan B on the spot because a plan B didn't exist so I, I would hate for that to be you don't buy into the false dream ending on a positive note i hope you do get rich quick and i hope you get rich slow i hope you get rich quick and slow um, i hope that your financial future is very secure so make sure you do have a think about your financial future don't just bury your head in the sand and hope that this is all going to happen for yourself read those books read other books study as much as you can especially if you're interested in any of the subject go with what you're interested in have a Google search, have a look, talk to a financial advisor, take whatever steps you need to take while you're waiting to make it really big or to make a lot of money very, very fast. You may as well make it slow and steady along the path. So thanks for listening. I'm Roundhouse Rob, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei, fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.